infinito. What's going on, you savages? Welcome back to another WWE news, keeping you guys up to date right after SmackDown Live. So the second night of the Superstar Shakeup is over, and it was SmackDown turn. And I gotta say that SmackDown Live definitely killed it this year when it comes to the Superstar Shakeup because they definitely got the best part of the draft. Quick recap from last night: Monday Night Raw got the following superstar: Apollo Cruz, Heath Slater, and Rhino, Maurice and The Miz, Dean Ambrose, Alexa Bliss, Curtis Axel, Bray Wyatt, Kalisto, and Mickey James. James. But SmackDown Live started out even hotter. They started out with Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. So we finally get to see Sami Zayn on the SmackDown brand. And he was pretty much thrown in the main event picture already. SmackDown Live also got Primo and Epico as they attacked American Alpha right after their match with the Usos. Jinder Mahal was also drafted to SmackDown Live as well as Tamina and Charlotte. Charlotte, we have been expecting her and it has been rumored the whole week leading onto the Superstar Shakeup that she was one of the major stars that was gonna be drafted to SmackDown Live. I even called them myself in the previous video that I had predicting some of the draft that SmackDown Live was gonna be making. So it looks like since Monday Night Raw is already gonna have Kalisto, we on SmackDown over here, we're gonna be getting Sin Cara, which I think is a good deal and it could be a good opportunity for him. And to my surprise, as somebody who is currently injured but nonetheless was still drafted to SmackDown Live, thank God that is Rusev. And yes, he is of course coming with Lana but the interesting thing about this is that it looks like Lana is gonna be doing the character that Emma Lina was supposed to play. They're already doing the tagline coming soon, but instead with Lana instead of Emma Lina. I guess the WWE decided to try again with somebody else, and I think Lana might be the perfect fit. And another huge tag team that was drafted tonight, and that it was also rumored for the rest of the week leading into the Superstar Shakeup, and that is the new day coming to SmackDown Live. Unfortunately, as we learned on Monday Night Raw, Kofi Kingston is injured and he is gonna need surgery, so he will be out for a couple of months but it looks like the new day is still a thing and uh, he's gonna be coming back to smackdown when he does come back smackdown live tag team division certainly got a little bit much more interesting now the other major superstar that was rumored to come to smackdown live that was seth rollins and unfortunately that didn't happen so it looks like the shield is sticking together on monday night raw although they're not a team yet but yet again uh, the problem comes why is the club still on monday night raw it was rumored for them to be coming to smackdown live to be joining aj styles that didn't happen but regardless finn valor's on monday night Raw, so he could build the club over there which i wouldn't be opposed to it at all but regardless there's nothing to complain about because when you look at it smackdown live just won this easily they got aj styles Shinsuke nakamura sammy sane kevin owens and i'll keep going but i think that you guys get the point at this point smackdown live is the a show but anyways you savages that is what i have for you guys for this wwe news make sure that you guys elbow drop that like button turn on those notifications if you haven't yet to be fully up to date on all things wwe news and rumors and wwe games coverage let me know down in the comments below which brand do you guys think actually won this wwe draft but anyways you savages i thank you guys for watching winter world to 20,000 subscribers i'm going to see how dig it